chapter 5, we're going to talk about gases. There we go. Putting pressure to work. So breathing. Here's an interesting statistic. Every day you move about 8,500 liters, 25 pounds of air in and out of your lungs. And you don't even think about it, right? Most of the time we just go about our breathing and we don't even think about it that we're breathing. Unless you, you know, have to run up the stairs here and then you're like, <laughs> right, and then you think about it. Breathing is possible because your body can create pressure differences between inside your lungs and outside. And what happens is that as you inhale, your diaphragm moves down and that causes the volume of your lungs to increase. That results in a decrease in pressure. The constant pressure outside forces air into your lungs. When you breathe out, your diaphragm presses up on your lungs, compressing them, lower volume, higher pressure, and that squeezes the air out. Repeat over and over again. Well, what is pressure? Pressure is the force exerted per unit area. So one way to, you know, if we want to express that with an equation, um, no, that's for, pressure equals force divided by area. Gases exert pressure. So little tiny gas molecules moving around, they run into things. When they run into something, they exert force. The force divided by the area over which that force is exerted is the pressure. The pressure of a gas depends on several factors. It depends on how many gas particles are in a given volume. If you have more gas particles in the same volume, then there will be more pressure. It depends on the volume of the container. If you increase the volume of the container, the pressure will decrease. It also depends on the average speed of the particles. So it can be hard for students to imagine what particles are doing. So let's think about a classroom, and we're going to clear out all the desks and tables. So just a big classroom, and we're going to put kindergartners in there. Okay. Kindergartners, um, in my experience, tend to run. You know, they don't walk or stroll too much. They tend to run around quite a bit. And so let's think of the kindergartners as being the gas particles. And when they collide with something, uh, a lot of times kindergartners are also a bit, um, they, they can be babies, right? And so they get hurt and they cry. And so two kindergartners running into each other, they might start crying. They get a boo-boo, right? Or they run into the wall, or they run into the door or something, right? Okay, I know this is strange. So if we put more children in the classroom, would there be more boo-boos or fewer boo-boos? There'd be more, because it's going to get crowded, right? The boo-boos are equivalent to the pressure. So more gas particles in the same volume, more pressure. So what if we take that classroom and there's a sliding door and we can open it into the next classroom and we double the size of the, con of the classroom? Same number of children. More boo-boos or fewer boo-boos? Yes. There's fewer because they have more space. They're not going to run into each other as often. So, so what if we give them caffeinated soda and they start running around faster? They're going to run into each other more often. Right? They're going to get hurt more. If we increase the speed of the gas particles, they're going to run into each other. Okay? And so this is, this is how it's helpful to think about gases. They actually behave in ways that we can understand if we relate them to everyday things. So you, when you inhale, you increase the volume. And we were just talking about that, and that decreases the pressure, right? The pressure outside stays fairly constant. And so nature doesn't like differences in pressure, and so the gas comes in. Think about a balloon. You blow up a balloon and you just hold it, hold it t closed. You don't tie it off. When you open that, do you have to do anything to get the gas to come out? No, it wants to come out. It's high pressure in, in the balloon. It's lower pressure outside, and so the gas is going to move to the lower pressure situation. So that's how you breathe.
and you've been doing it without being instructed in it. No pressure. No pressure.